All right, I have two hours um, to play this game because then I have to do homework because I'm almost done with spring break. Hi, how are we? How are we doing? Um, this is. I am beginning to realize that this game is very much uh, <laughs> not even on screen. Oops. <laughs> I still have my settings from last time. Let me just let me just move that up a little bit. <laughs> okay, that should be better. Anyway, the 911 episode that I watched yesterday is is crazy. Um I cannot believe that they ended it like that. I've been dying to talk about it literally since I watched it. It's I don't even know how to feel about what I watched. Like, 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 please tell me somebody else watched it because it's literally crazy. Like, <laughs> oh, these books are out of order. Um, so today's stream is was between this game and Stardew Valley, and. I've decided that when I finish this game is when I will play Stardew Valley. I've been waiting for it to come out on Switch. Um, but I cannot wait any longer. I really want to play the new update. Um, specifically for the new farm type, like... All the stuff that got added, the winter outfits, I'm going to create an entirely new save file. Every time I play this game, I discover new stuff. Why is there a beetle? I've never given it much thought. Why is there a beetle? Where does the beetle go after this? So, this is a very relaxing sort of game, to the point where I'm gonna go quiet at some points. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go quiet and just focus on the game. And if that happens, just yell at me in chat, because I'm not even gonna realize when it happens. Why are you going there? Go there. This is a board game, right? Oh, that's why my screen looks weird. I haven't zoomed out. This is a board game. I'm gonna put you... Right there. Doesn't this ukulele come with a stand? Also, I have- I've played this game before, I know exactly like where to put the diploma and stuff, so I'm not gonna have that reaction of this is so sad, because it is sad and it's very irritating that she has to put her diploma, like, under the bed, but I have, I think, like, 92 hours in this game by this point, so I'm not gonna have that reaction anymore. <laughs> This is so- I hate- I hate- No! Oh my god. We're just gonna- Okay. So, the 911 episode, I'm very glad we got a lot more Bobby and Athena content. I love the 118 so much, um, but I, I was worried for Bobby and Athena the entire time. Also, they need to learn to trust Hen's judgment. 
I knew from the second we saw that guy, he was drunk, it was entirely his fault, and he refused care. People just... In America, if you refuse care, and then a paramedic saves your life, you're allowed to just sue the paramedic. I don't think people realize that. You are allowed to just completely sue the person that saved your life because you originally did not consent to receiving care. Like, it would have been a risk to Hen's job, probably to the 118 as well. Like, if the guy said, I refuse care, and then Hen and or Chim still made him receive care, somebody would have been getting fired. I wish the music would kick back in. <laughs> Wait, this is another board game. I have no idea what these are, by the way. These things. So. Sorry, I had chat closed. I don't know why. <laughs> Can I move these? No, I can't. Okay. Oh, another book. Lovely. I say this as somebody who has like 14 bookshelves. This is too many books. <laughs> There's no space. Also, I'm looking forward to the next episode of 911, and I actually hate that we have to wait an entire week. That's so annoying. Okay, I'm just gonna leave you here for now. Um, it's so incredibly annoying that. This guy just leaves no space. Um, and also, who lives like this? That we have to wait an entire week to find out what happens. Um, like, I definitely like it more than binge watching an entire show. Um, it makes... It makes like the the show last longer and then when you're waiting a year for the next season to come out you're not like completely out of your mind with irritation that you just can't have the content now um but i do wish we could just have the instant gratification of another episode even if i'm glad that we don't have that A shirt. As much as this guy sucks, his closet is actually like really cool. And I wish I had this much space in my closet. But all the space in my closet is taken over by merchandise, honestly. Okay, he can have his side of the closet, but I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have my side. And on my side. Oh, okay. Okay, I might have 92 hours on this game, but that doesn't mean that I remember exactly 
what happens um, and where to put stuff. This is so me coded. I have so many. No I have just on my desk like a pile of notebooks. A lot of them actually aren't empty. I have like stories that I wrote in like fifth grade. Um, but I would say like most of it just empty pages. So, the next episode of 911, I think we're gonna have. Well, actually, it's pretty much guaranteed. We're gonna have the 118 in the helicopter, which is gonna be so interesting to see because Eddie has trauma from helicopters from his time in the military, and Buck has trauma from the lightning strike and um, the tsunami. Which also, Eddie has trauma from the lightning strike because it killed Buck for 3 minutes and 17 seconds, which is insane. An insane thing to remember. Like, not to be all buddies canon, but buddies absolutely canon. I, I feel it. I feel that this season we're going to get Buddy being canon, and I don't care how delusional I sound when I say that. I think we're going to get it. At the same time, if we don't get it, I'm not going to be completely shocked because I, we're, I'm definitely be just being delusional about it. But so is, like, all of Twitter. All my post recommendations lately have just been for Buddy. And it's, it's funny, but it's also not. It's also just sad. We're so... We're so delusional. This is a nice shirt. I don't know if I've talked about it, but the art style of this game is just so incredibly pleasing to look at. I'm I'm just gonna I'm not even gonna pretend. I I know what happens. I'm just gonna put that there. Um, the art style for this game is just so incredibly pleasing. I've also never had a uh, color-coded hangers, now that I think about it. That might be something to look into. Hmm. Um... We'll put the work-related stuff up here, including the work shoes. I'm considering these work shoes. It might not be, but I consider them work shoes. Okay, this is a nice sweater. Where did she get the sweater? Because this is a very nice sweater. I put the pig here. There might be more hangers, but I don't actually know. Can I play the radio? I can play the radio. That's crazy. I love that. I'll come back to the bedroom. I... I cannot right now. There's... Oh my god, I didn't know that. She definitely has her own towel, so I'm just gonna put you there. Is 
This is incredibly realistic and also just incredibly sad. How empty is your drawer, dude? And why? Why is your mouthwash all the way over here? Okay, I'm putting all of his stuff up here. Except for the comb, apparently. Wait, I love that the music gets quieter. And changes direction when you're listening. That's insane. I've... I thought these were flies for a minute, but it's actually the cars driving past. You know, I have this exact same hair straightener. Right down to the color. I don't use it anymore because it was very damaging to my hair, and I'm glad I outgrew that phase of my life. But I still have a hair straightener. I think it could one day be useful. I don't know what for. There we go. There's too much going on in here. Jesus. This plant is cute. And I can't put the cookie jar anywhere. Oh my gosh. One thing I will say, you know, he found an aesthetic and he decided to stick with it. And I can't blame him for it. But surely there's just a better way. I don't even know what this is. This object. What on earth could it possibly be for? You know, I have this exact same <laughs> measuring set. It's just in pink. Like, just straight up pastel pink. I think it was part of a, um... A set? Uh, specifically an Easter bunny set. Like a pastel, glittery Easter set. What are these? <laughs> Actually, I think that's a can opener, and then the yellow thing is a beer opener, which makes sense. What doesn't make sense is having all of your spices and stuff up here, because you have nowhere else to put them. I believe that's an ice cream scoop. She's just gonna have to work here. Can I not? Oh, wait, this is the front of it. Never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> Cookie jar here. Panini press here. My mom got my brother and I a panini press for Christmas, and we've used it um, twice, I believe. But uh, don't quote me on that because I actually have no idea how many times they've used it. I've used it zero times um, because she just tends to make us dinner. <laughs> I knew the bathroom wasn't done. It's never that easy. A 
Fun fact about my mom, she has a magnet addiction, which you might not think is an actual thing until you see our refrigerator and you see that it's just covered in magnets from places she hasn't been, from places she's been, childhood magnets that like I made in art, um, either class or just at school whenever we had art time. Oh, I unpacked all the boxes. I wasn't expecting to have done that yet. I thought she had cups and plates. What happened to the cups and plates? Well, if she doesn't have cups and plates, I'm just going to put stuff up here. Oh, I guess there is a place. Okay, I just checked and that my- there's never- <laughs> there's never such a thing as too many magnets. Athena, you don't understand. You don't understand how many magnets. This is years of accumulation of magnets and it's- I think there is a such thing as too many magnets. And I actually bought her more because I bought this, um, this gnome thing. It's like a welcome sign. And it says, it says like, welcome gnome. But the, uh, the O in one of the words is replaceable with a magnet. And there's a gnome for each different, um, season or holiday. Like, there's a Valentine's Day one. There's a, uh... What else? Uh, Fourth of July. Right now we have the March St. Patrick's Day one on. And it's very fun. And it was actually very cheap. I got it on Etsy. Um, and I enjoy it. It's it's like, it, it was her little Christmas gift because she, lo she loves gnomes. Um, but I've added to the magnet madness with it. And for that, I have many regrets because there's so many magnets. And there's no storage space in our fridge or in this house. This poor woman is living in like, I know it's not a studio apartment, but it feels like a studio apartment. There's just, there's too much. Okay, hat, hat goes up there, I guess. I'm gonna be real, I don't even care where I'm putting stuff right now. I just want to move past this level. I hate this guy. What if I just stacked everything on top of each other? And then when I take a picture of this house, I take a picture of this room and then we never have to think about we never have to think about the bedroom I need to like figure out how to just keep it you can zoom even further in that's crazy Also, I love this. I love this desk. I do think the old bed was a lot better. I'm not a fan. How this is out of order. Oh, I can't set it. Okay. Did I even 
finish my thought about Eddie and Buck's trauma and that they're going to be facing it. I Because I feel like I got very sidetracked by something and I don't know what it was. But I'm always going to get sidetracked. You will never find me finishing a coherent thought. This feels like a very sure way to stub your toe, actually, now that I'm looking at it. There's never such thing as too many magnets, but there is a such thing as too many books. No, liter literally, they're going to be facing their trauma. If if the writers don't let us down. Um, but they're going to be facing their separate traumas. Together. I saw somebody on, Sitter, on, Sitter, on Twitter say, um, what happens when... Um, Eddie reaches for Buck for comfort when they're facing their trauma and I'm just like um, I scream and I turn off my TV that's what happens <laughs> I relate to this protagonist for so many reasons but the main one is just that I have too much stuff I have so much stuff, and most of it I don't even need, but I have an unhealthy attachment. I was just thinking too many books, you'd hate to see how- Um, I would love to see how many books you have, and I can't even argue because my desk faces my unread bookshelf, which is a bookshelf full of books I haven't read yet, which I had to buy myself because I had too many books that I hadn't read, and I just keep buying more. I have about, I don't even know how many books that I haven't read, um, and right now I'm rereading Percy Jackson. Technically I'm rereading Heroes of Olympus, but it, it's Percy Jackson. And I'm planning on going with uh, Magnus Chase next, or uh, Trials of Apollo, one of them. I might even save Magnus Chase for last because it's like easily my favorite of the series. Like I, I love Percy, I love Leo, I love Heroes of Olympus, um, but I really love Magnus Chase, mainly for the trans representation. Like, not gonna lie. Um, I feel like Rick did a very good job with Alex. I don't know if people have like a different opinion. To that than I do, but I feel like he did a very good job with Alex. Where am I gonna put these? There's no room! I feel like people give uh, Rick Riordan a lot of shit for how he wrote Nico's coming out. And rightfully so. I mean, I feel like he could have handled it a lot better than having Nico get outed. Um, but I also didn't know that you could be gay until Nico D'Angelo came out. So, in a way, yes, the representation um, could have been better. But I also think it was monumental to have that representation when, like, w that time period. Because when, when did Mark of Athena even- no, not Mark of Athena. When did House of Hades even come out? Like, I feel like it came out before gay marriage was legalized, not gonna lie. I can put the games here. Um, this feels mean. I haven't played on my DS in so long. It's actually crazy. I think the last- yeah, definitely before gay marriage is- yeah. But I had no idea you could even be gay. <laughs> 
you were in middle school. What was I in? I think I was in... I think House of Hades came out when I was in 5th grade. And then in 6th grade is when Blood of Olympus came out. Because I remember... Yeah, I remember um, coming home. Like, getting into my car and my pre-order of Blood of Olympus was waiting for me, and I was so happy. I don't think we're gonna get a Heroes of Olympus TV show. Um, which, which is incredibly sad to think about, but I feel like we're not gonna get one. I would love one, but also I kinda just wanna focus on getting Percy Jackson finished. That's so cool that I can just change that. <laughs> Dude, I Walker is my Percy Jackson. I genuinely he's he's so Percy Jackson. And I love him so much. Also, this character is so me coded because I too cannot sleep without a heating pad. I'm at that point in life. <laughs> I've gotten too old. I need to find that one game that everyone plays. What is it? It's like, it's a satisfaction game, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's, um,. It's where you, like, line everything up, and it's supposed to be, like, super satisfying to look at. How long do I have on the stream? I have until, uh, 3 o'clock, because then I actually have to do my homework. Because I've been putting it off all week. But hopefully I can finish this game, and then next stream is Stardew Valley. Because I'm dying to play the new update. I can no longer wait for... What is it? Switch. I can no longer wait for the Switch update to come out. And now that I've said that, it's gonna come out, like, tomorrow or something. I would love a Heroes of Olympus show, like, honestly, but I, I just don't know. I don't know. Like, the, it would be so many years into the future, but I'm also rereading Heroes of Olympus, so I'm just like, I want it now. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want the casting for Leo, I want the casting for Piper and Jason and Hazel and Frank, and I just want everything. Am I forgetting somebody? Piper, Leo, Jason, Frank, Hazel, Percy, okay. Oh shit, I'm already done. Okay, I can put you here. I don't know why. What else am I missing? Oh, this. Oh. Where do I put it? Is there a trash can? I can't put it in the trash can. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I did miss Reyna, but I don't know if Reyna's part of the seven. I, I don't count her as part of the seven. However, I am looking forward to Reyna. Especially, okay, if we get Heroes of Olympus, that means we get Blood of Olympus, which means we get Nico, Reyna, and Coach Edge team up, which would be crazy. I would love to see that. This is the type of bookcase I would want. Um, 
But then I got this type of bookcase and I had it for God knows how many years. And it was falling apart. It was awful. To be fair, we got it from Walmart. Speaking of Walmart, I just ordered, um, God, what did I just order? The Creeper mini fridge. Uh, my, mainly because I'm sick of sharing um, my drinks with my family because they don't know self-control but I got the creeper mini fridge and I'm so excited because I've never had a mini fridge and it's gonna be so cool yes the creep okay at, at Walmart it was on sale um it was like I think it goes for like a hundred dollars I got it for 30 something but I think the hundred dollar one is like a charged creeper and the one I got is like a normal creeper. But I'm pretty sure it's the same one that Shelby has, so I'm very excited. Shelby. Shovel. I don't know why I said Shelby. We're not friends. <laughs> I don't know her. <laughs> but it's that it's that same one that in um, her SOS video she got scared by. And I don't know what I'm going to put in it. Probably applesauce. I've been eating applesauce recently. Okay. Th these are games. These are DVDs. I've been trying to be better about eating breakfast and stuff. And honestly, it actually makes my day a lot easier if I've eaten breakfast. Which, who knew? I haven't watched either i'm saving joel's video for when i have dinner and i just haven't i've been trying to watch every hermitcraft video which is crazy um and i don't know how i'm gonna do it i think right now i'm on wells's first episode but i haven't watched like anything else today And I very much need to catch up on Hermitcraft because I'm so behind on Impulse and Etho right now. <laughs> Joel, I was I was telling this to myself earlier because I have no one else. I don't talk to anyone else, like out loud. But um I don't think Hermitcraft has ever like understood what a starter base is but es especially joel but i'm thinking of like scar green mum but literally name a hermit they don't know what a starter base is and i love them for it and it's very it's like it's very cool to see but i think specifically this was because i was watching cub and he was like oh here's my starter base i never make starter bases so i'm gonna make one this season and it was not a starter base <laughs> it was it was like a base that I would make when I was finally done designing. Like, I, l I love the Hermits, but they've never understood what a starter base is. And that's great. I love the content. Joel is such a- Joel and Skiz are both just such a great addition to Hermitcraft, but I love just watching Joel's, like, designs. Like, No, literally. Like, if you go to season, I think, 8, and you watch Scar, like, I think even Green said, was like, Scar, this is not a starter base. Like, and right now Scar is making, like, a train. I don't even know if Joel is planning on making a base outside of the city, but if he calls this a starter base, I'm going to lose my mind, because it's not. Okay, I feel like I can do this part better. <laughs> um, Foolish would genuinely be insane. He would build a dragon as his starter base 
and he would call it a starter base fully serious and he would fully believe that it's a starter base I want to buy these chickens. Okay. I'm going to take these elsewhere. Put, put them here. The... I th I'm pretty sure our protagonist lives by herself at this point, and then the next level is when her girlfriend moves in. He's built- yeah, he built a dragon on QSB. I feel like Hermitcraft is just so different that he would build it in a week on Hermitcraft, and it would just be completely normal. Honestly, speaking of Hermitcraft, I'm loving- all the interactions this season, but specifically Jem with Etho and Grian. Like, I'm really appreciating their friendship this season. I love, like, just how they're all interacting with each other. It's so good. And I love how close everyone is. I think that's part of why I liked season 8 so much, um, is that Bodum was just so close. Like, I'm not saying, oh, they need to build a mega, like a Giga base again because like that would be crazy but i'd love to like how them being so close gave them so many opportunities to interact with each other that like we we normally don't get to really see that because i i've been re-watching not re-watching i've been watching like season six i believe and even season seven um and i would say like there weren't a lot of interactions, I, I would say, at least like in the beginning. Oh, I can't exactly with the paper. Okay. Yeah, everyone on Magic Mountain is just so good. Okay, put you there. Um, God, what else? What else? I had another train of thought, and then I just completely lost it. <laughs> And it was something, it was something about Hermitcraft. Oh, voice chat is the best thing that ever happened in Minecraft. Literally for any SMP, but for Hermitcraft specifically, it just makes everything so much better. I love, I love this game. The attention to detail is crazy. I can't wait for uh, Skiz and Tango to upload again. I believe they're on vacation, but I do I do miss their videos. They're on a well-deserved vacation, but I do miss their videos. Okay, I've, de I've decided that these are socks, so they're gonna go on the bottom. I still want to buy this card again. I both love and hate this game. I 
I still can't set the alarm. Oh, I forgot I could stack the candles. I'm doing this, but I don't think it's going to work out. Yeah, oh my god, has been Okay, okay, if you're gonna watch it, oh my god, please watch it. It's so... I didn't think I was gonna like it. Um, My friend is, like, in love with the show and convinced me to watch it, because I was like, okay, I want to have something to talk about. I enjoyed every second of it. Um, I, I do love musicals, and I think the music was, like, really good. I, I'm actively listening to some of them on... I don't use Spotify. I use YouTube because I have premium. So I, I just I just use YouTube. <laughs> but I genu genuinely has been was like, I liked it. And I'm looking forward to season two. And, you know, my phone is always listening. So now I'm going to get recommended even more has been hotel content. <laughs> Whatever happened to our protagonist's boots? She had like a pair of red boots and it, they were very cool. Right? I think it's, um, there's Hell of a Boss, which is, which, it's like, it's on YouTube. It's its own show, but it's in the same universe, I believe. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, the main characters from the show from Hasbro Hotel make an appearance. I don't like no I know Angel is in it. Um but I don't know like the specifics of the show. But that that's all on YouTube as far as I'm aware. Um, it, the show has, like, great queer content, I'd say. There's, like, one ship, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna go canon. But don't quote me on that, because all the information I get is from my friend who, like, is actively in the fandom. But I don't know, I genuinely don't know how Hasbro Hotel got the entirety of Broadway just to be on the show. Like, actually insane. Because I'll just be watching it and it's like, I think Alex Brightman, Beetlejuice, what are you doing here? And then Jeremy Jordan, um, Rosa Diaz from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'm completely blanking right now. Uh, Katie from Mean Girls. Like, the sh the casting for this show is actually insane. I don't know how they made it happen. Yeah, Darren Chris. Oh my god. Like, there's just, like, so many names. 
from from the show and i'm just like i like this person has literally been on broadway what do you mean And then I think Alex Brightman plays, like, three different characters, which, good for him. Don't quote me on that, because I actually have no idea. I think, I know he plays at least two. And then I know you haven't seen the show yet, but my favorite character, I'm, I'm gonna go with Angel. I feel like he's very relatable. Either Angel or Husk. Um, I don't have a specific favorite yet. Oh, but then also I love Lucifer. Which is going to be crazy if this is ever taken out of context. I had a filing cabinet one time. I don't actually know what happened to it. <laughs> I watched season one of Tangled, um, the show, and I never finished it, and I regret never finishing it. I'm probably gonna have to rewatch it. Um, but I enjoyed it. It was it was good. Jeremy Jordan is just Jeremy Jordan. That that's it. That's the tweet. Like I don't actively like follow him or look at his content or anything, but like whenever I come across content of him, like it's crazy. Like he's he's very talented. Where do I put this? What is this? Why is there a towel in here? Our protagonist is very relatable, except that I... The way that I pack stuff is very much not like this. Yeah, Vary Vary and Aniko are honest. I wouldn't- I don't know if I want to say similar, but I definitely get, like, what- what you're saying. Like, he does remind me of Nico. And I don't know if that's just, like, tragic or if there's something else, but, like, I get what you're saying. Oh, oh no. There we go. Okay. Can I put you on the windowsill? I can. That's so dangerous. I'm currently... What am I doing? Something about here. Something about Nico. I'm re-reading Here's Olympus. And I remember seeing a tweet where somebody was like, Oh, it's out of character that Percy didn't want to rescue Nico from the jar like he was like hesitant or whatever but i'm rereading it and i don't see that hesitation like percy it was like yeah i don't have like the best experiences with nico but we're not gonna leave him to die like he i'm i don't know if he said it out loud because again it's i'm rereading it but i'm also just so bad at mem remembering stuff but i don't see Percy I don't I didn't read Percy being like oh we can't save Nico like because I don't trust him like I ve like I'm pretty sure he said out loud like we're gonna save Nico like it's not an option to just leave him behind And Percy Fatal Flaw's loyalty Jackson would never like even even if Nico has tried to kill him. And I don't think Nico actually has 
tried to kill him. Now that I'm, like, thinking about it. Like, I don't think Nico's ever... Like, he's been pissed off and he's wanted, probably, to kill Percy. But I don't think he's ever made an attempt on Percy's life. Because him taking Percy to the underworld was not him being like, I'm gonna kill Percy. Like, he, he didn't know that Hades was gonna lock Percy up. As, as much as I love Leo and am beginning to, like, love Jason, because I, I was, like, part of that fandom, part of the fandom that just didn't like Jason. I don't know why. He's not, he's not a bad character. He's not, he's not a bad guy. Um, but, like, as much as I love them, they were very wrong for suggesting that they just leave Nico behind. Like, I know that there's technically other things to worry about um like with the giants and stuff but i feel like wrong place wrong time you shouldn't have suggested that you just leave nico to die Can you tell I'm very protective of Nico? He's one of my favorite characters. In my reread of Percy Jackson, I'm actually not going to be rereading um, Sun and the Star and Chalice of the Gods. Only because I've read those in the last year. Like, when I'm rereading Percy Jackson, I'm not reading it to... Um... Like, I'm rereading it because I want to remember all the details that I've missed. Because I, I I don't remember, like, a lot of the, about it. Speaking of Percy, something I've seen recently is how Rick pronounces Luke's last name. Um, people are not happy about it, but honestly, I've never given his last name a thought. I just kind of skip over it when I'm reading. Because I think it was revealed in the last book, like, what his last name is. So I never actually, like, cared by that point. Because I'm very much on the fuck Luke train. Like, I do not care about him. He, he's a very compelling character, but I think at some point, you, you, I like the show version better. Like, he feels like a better written character. What is this? Oh, it's a mug. Oh. Let's not put the toaster over there. Yeah, he's- Luke is, like, very much a good character, but I also hate him. <laughs> I- I have been saying this, the reveal at the end of the show is much better than the reveal in the books. Um, and I don't know if that's, like, a hot take or not, but I enjoyed it so much more. Like, especially having Annabeth there, like, that sold it for me. Yeah, it feels like in- in the, um... In the book, Luke just doesn't care about Grover, which is so weird to me because, like, Grover saved them, you know? Like, and I don't see Luke blaming um, Thalia's death on Grover. Like, it makes more sense that he would just completely blame it on the gods. But it feels like in the book, he blamed it also on Grover, which I just, I didn't understand. Um, so I like that in the show, they made Luke, like, care a lot more. Um, which is a big reason why I support the changes in the show. Like, because if I, if I was an author and I published a book, like, 20 years ago, and it finally was getting an adaptation, and I was on the writing team, I would absolutely be changing stuff. Like, after 20 years, um, I would absolutely want to change stuff. 
and I actually if I wanted a perfect adaptation like word for word scene for scene of the book I would just reread the book like there's like I don't I don't want like the most perfect adaptation it would it would be cool but it would also just be kind of boring because it's like well why can't I just reread the book at that point because my imagination is like I don't know how to describe my imagination, but I can like picture stuff very clearly when I'm reading, which is part of what makes reading so fun to me. Like, and I know a lot of people like don't have that, which is why they want a perfect adaptation, which is completely fair. But for me, I have a perfect adaptation whenever I just read the book. <laughs> oh, I can't put the knife in here. What? Why can't I put the knife in here? Okay, we'll figure out the knife later. God, I could talk for hours about Percy Jackson. It's such just a good series. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I will admit I do have trouble with faces. Um... Which is what, like, rereading the series now, I picture Walker and Leah um, as Percy and Annabeth. Oh, gee, that was a car in the game. <laughs> I did not know what that was. Like, I, I can picture them now that we have, like, an actual cast. But for the most part, when it comes to books, I would say, like, I can imagine, like, the places and, like, I don't, I, like, I can't see the faces unless I have like a casting in mind or there is an actual cast, but I can like picture the gestures and like when somebody's like talking and how they're moving and stuff. I'm very glad that Percy Jackson is getting it, the recognition that it deserves now. Like I feel like Rick was ahead of his time Especially with uh, Nico. Like, because up until that point, didn't know you could be gay. <laughs> didn't know that, like, being gay was a thing. And then you, you get Nico, and it's like, oh my gosh. That would be, honestly, that sounds kind of cool, seeing it as a comic. I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't say I see it as like a movie or a TV show either. Like, I don't know how I see it. I can just like see stuff, I guess. I've never like given it much thought. The kitchen is so satisfying to go through. I love this. I no longer love this. Why do you have so much stuff? Why do you have so much stuff? Yes, I'm aware game. Thank you. I guess I'm just gonna put the knife in here. Honestly, same. I've, I've wanted to get into comics for like a while, but I've, I just never have. Like I, I get into comics that my friends write, but I haven't like actually looked into getting in like reading comics. Though I am considering it because you're very much into DC and I want to understand what you're talking about when you're talking about it. That should work. Okay, what am I missing? What? I can't put the pig on the dresser. Okay, I like this room the best. I'm pretty sure if you change whatever picture you do, like, it, um, it changes the caption, which is very cool. 
Oh, I can't put stickers on the book. Sad. Where was I in 2015? How old was I in 2015? How old was I in 2015? Hold on. I think I was 12. So I would have been sixth grade. So I think I honestly would have been reading here some of this. Everything I know, yeah, everything I know, TV shows, fan fiction. Oh, it's raining in the game. I was like, what is that? It's raining, um, where I live right now, actually. My brother has a D&D &D game right now, which is crazy. Like, why are you going to go out in the rain? I think my school system was very weird. Like, I think I, I'm... T when I say sixth grade, I think that's technically middle school for a lot of people, but for me, it was it was sixth grade. And then we had a completely separate school for like two other grades. Um, and then we had high school. And it was very funny to realize like all the elementary schools had this rival rivalry with each other. Like we had like stupid names like stupid nicknames for all the other schools, which I'm not gonna say because I feel like that gives away too much information. Um, but. Oh, you were like a year ahead of me then. Like we had, we had like these elementary school nicknames for each other. And then we all go to the exact same middle school. So there was no reason to have a rivalry when we were just gonna go to the exact same middle school. Oh, I forgot I put these here. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Gosh, this game is crazy. I love it though. This this game is so is so good. I mean, I've put 92 hours into it. I would hope that I love it. <laughs> Honestly, you're so right. Especially like I feel like either the movies or like the fan art has warped people's perspectives of how young like the trio was i mean i guess grover is like 24 but still i feel like young for a satyr like i really do like looking at it it's like oh these were children like th these are child soldiers now that i'm looking at this <laughs> like like luke put these 12 year olds into a war and that's insane. I swear, if I get one more movie... Actually, I can fit one more movie. We'll put the board games under here. There were, there were a lot of changes to the show from the books that, honestly, I really enjoyed. Um, there were, like, there, there was some stuff that they could have done better, and don't ask me what, because I'm not going to remember. Um, but for the most part, I think that they did a very good job on the show. stack is no but I can do that <laughs> my 
My mouse is frozen. One second. Okay, there we go. I was, I was like, oh god, everything's crashing. I can't wait till these two get into a bigger house. Oh, this is makeup. <laughs> Imagine if they had filmed um, Pojo while, like, the characters, the, the actors were, like, the actual ages. Like, a 12-year-old Walker would have broken my heart. Any scene we got with young Percy was already just so devastating. I cannot imagine. Also, the actor for young Percy was insane. Like, I genuinely thought they just CGI'd Walker. Like, that is how similar they look. What is this? I'm actually, mm, I'll figure that part out later. No, like they looked so similar. Like I was like, oh, okay, they're using CGI, like, Whatever. And then I figured out it was, like, an actual, like, person. And I was like, excuse me? Like, wh what do you mean this isn't CGI? Like, what do you mean you found somebody who literally is Walker, but de-aged? I don't know where to put the mouthwash. Actually, no, I don't think it would fit up there. No, not that. Hen Henry's casting in The Walking Dead is, like, so special to me because it's, like, played by Sophia's actress's older brothers. Or younger brothers. Brothers. I know, like, I'm I'm pretty sure older Henry is played by her older brother. And he's also in that Marvel show, Miss Marvel, which I was very surprised when I was watching it. I was like, Henry, what are you doing here? But the casting that they did is so cool that, like, like it like because he played Carol's son basically so it I found it really cool how like it was Sophia's actress's real life brothers I want this so badly yeah Miss Marvel gosh I Miss Marvel was such a good show Miss Marvel and Moon Knight, and the fact that, like, we haven't gotten, like, a season two for either is actually criminal. I am glad that we got the Marvels, though. I, because I think, like, the last two Marvel movies that I had seen in theaters, I was so done with it. I was so tired of Marvel, like, um, 
but I still went to go see the Marvels because I was like, well, I like Miss Marvel. I like Captain Marvel. I want to see more of Monica. So let's ju let's just go see it. Um, and it, it was good. My mom enjoyed it, which was surprising because she, the last Marvel movie she saw with me was Thor Love and Thunder. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm very glad we got Miss Marvel in the Marvels. Like, cause I'm, I loved her character. But the last movie that my mom saw with me that was Marvel was Thor. And we both agreed that it was actually, like, the one of the worst Marvel movies. <laughs> like, I don't know why they keep being so rude to Thor with his movies. Like, I don't get it. I feel like he's such a good character, but his, like, they keep messing up his movies. Because the second one is also like, oh... Like, this sucks. Just, like, just my personal opinion. Like, I feel I feel like Thor is such just a good character. And, um... Like, they just keep letting him down with, with his movies. Um... But my mom did enjoy the Marvels. Which I was surprised about. Because I don't think she enjoyed Captain Marvel all that much. Um... Even though I absolutely adored it. Yeah, honestly, I agree. I I wanted to like Love and Thunder so bad, I really did, and I think I think they could have made a good movie, but something went wrong, and it just didn't end up happening. Um, like I liked uh, Ragnarok, I really did, I truly enjoyed it. But I just did not like Love and Thunder. I feel like they also could have done more with the Guardians being in the movie. Like, it feels like they- I mean, they were there for like five minutes. Um, and then they just disappeared. Yeah, okay, Valkyrie. Yep, best part of the movie, honestly. I do, I do like that they listened to the fans when it came to uh, Carol and Valkyrie being together. Because they very easily could have been like, uh, no. Um, but I'm glad that they saw the potential and they were like, you know what? They have something going on. <laughs> Okay, we still have our work shoes, but we don't have the work hat and stuff, which is weird. Wait. This is how my mom and my brother have their closet set up, because they share a closet. And I would feel bad, but also they have a lot less stuff than I do. I have so much just stuff in my closet. Like, I have so many squishmallows. I have just stuff that I need to get rid of. Oh, they're absolutely worth Didn't they kiss? I'm like 90% sure they kissed. At least on the cheek, I'm pretty sure. Oh, 
I mean, even if they aren't canon, they're canon to me, and that's what matters. What matters is how I interpret the media. No, I feel like this just has to be here, but that means I have to, like, move everything. The Marvels was genuinely, like, such a good movie, though. I feel like it really redeemed um, Thor Love and Thunder to me. And I don't know, I also watched uh, The Third Guardians, which I loved. I also love that one. Ooh. Is it? Okay. I wonder why. Yeah, because Streamlabs is like, skipped frames detected 100% over the last two minutes. Thank you, Streamlabs, so much. I'm going to the main menu. Yeah, it's like completely frozen over here. Okay. I don't think it affects my microphone. I think it literally only affects like the gameplay. Which still sucks, but hopefully I don't like sound like a robot or anything. I wonder why, because I don't have, like, a bunch of stuff open. I mean, at least, at least the music is pretty vibing. Okay, if it's this laggy, I think I might just stop the stream then, because I've been going for over an hour. So. I don't know if I'm gonna raid anyone unless Athena wants to go live. Um, but, cause I don't think any of the channels I follow are live. Oh wait, Shuffle's live. I think I will raid Shovel then, because... Yeah, okay. I'll raid Shovel. Um, 